Hi guys, this is KidLink77 and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we took on Gracchus V, and in doing that, we got an interesting looking shard. It's a shard that won't fit into any of the pedestals that we have here. Kinda strange. Well, in this episode, we are going to be making our way to the past. Now, you could go to three different areas. Um, and we're gonna, you know, do that. Uh, we're gonna go in, like, a particular order. We're gonna go in this order first. We're gonna check out the wind area first. Now, I did forget to grab a aqua shard that you could get in the present, but it's not necessary now, so we're gonna hold out on getting that. So, uh, for now, why don't we go over here and insert the last piece of shard in here. We're gonna take on the wind shard first. And, um, yeah, this is, I think, like, the easiest one. It's, like, I think the best order you should go is is, you know, do the wind shard first, and then we're gonna do another fireplace, and then, or another fire shard thing, and then another fire shard thing, so. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway, in here we have this area, and it's all, you know, sp shiny, or light and everything, and uh, let's make our way over through this bridge. And, um, I don't think you're gonna find any monsters in here. Hello. What are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing? You don't have to hide. I really don't mind admiring, I really mind people admiring my inspiring beauty. Whatever, girl. All right, don't touch, just don't touch me. You are terrible. All right, shut up. We'll find us. People will find you. What's up? Huh? You aren't from around here, are you? The town I hail from is in terrible trouble right now. But I suppose there's no point in telling complete strangers about it. Look, it's dangerous here, so you best forget about me and hurry up and get as far away as you can. All right. Well, what's the sign say? All right. So Probina, straight ahead. Ahead. Okay. Well, this is Probina. I guess that we're gonna be going to next. So let's make our way off this way. Um, the monsters are somewhat, you know, the same here, but they are somewhat different. So we have new enemies. We have the uh, Bane, Bane Guru. I don't know. There goes my tablet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just have um, Melvin attack the bugbear. Uh, then everyone will be doing vacuum, and that should probably end everything pretty quickly. So, yeah. Uh, this will be fairly easy. I mean, yeah, look at that. So nice. That damage output so good. All right. So, uh, yep, there we go. Easy peasy. And um, let's uh, make our way up here to, I guess, Probina. And looks like there's a shrine up ahead. Huh. All right. Well, uh, this is Probina. Ooh, a welcome party. Nice. Hey, hold on there. Where do you hail from? Are you with Ragaraz? Um, no, we're not. I don't even know what that is. Hold on. There's something about them. I think they're telling the truth. Well, that's a nice little welcoming committee. We're travelers who've just arrived here. We are unfamiliar with this place. Who or what is Ragaraz? Yeah, what is that? So you are just travelers. Well, let me impart some valuable knowledge. Stay far away from the kingdom of Ragaraz. It is, lies on an island across the southern seas. Uh, theirs is a deprived culture, barbaric and profane. Lately, Ragaraz's military has been flooding Probina with a submersive element. I'm here to make sure that these practices do not continue. Those I have caught have been returned to Ragaraz as broken men. No respectable woman would want them. Ew. This. Ew. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Why would you bring? Why would a big kingdom like that come after a puny town like this? Uh, maybe they're hiding some kind of treasure here. Well, good call, I guess. All right. For your own good, I suggest that you do not pry in our affairs. While you pose no immediate threat, I will show no remorse. The time comes for me to cut your throats in defense of my... Jesus, you guys are terrible. That said, enjoy your stay in our humble town. Don't do anything stupid. After you've rested and collected what you need, you must leave. I trust you understand. You are terrible. Thank you. All right, well, we do have some a new place here. Uh, this is Probina, as you can tell. Nice welcoming committee. Uh, thank you so much. And Oh, we have Puppy here. Hi, Puppy. Aw. All right, so in here we have nothing. Uh, in here we have nothing as well. And over here we do have some stuff, though. So, well, well, it takes a, an adventurous spirit to travel in times like these. If you're going to journey across the river again, you best go fully equipped. I'll supply you everything you could need. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. We're just going to... You know, take whatever you have locked in here. Don't mind us at all. Hopefully it'll help us out. Yeah, all right. We get a steel sword here. All right, well, that'll be good for selling. Well, we're going to sell your own stuff back to you. Hopefully we don't mind. We'll make some cash out of it. All right, so, uh, yeah, very nice. All right, now, there is a piece of armor that I want to buy. 
Uh, we're gonna be doing that in a second, so let me go ahead and sell that little, um, that good old sword that we just, you know, took from ya. We actually have two of them, nice. Alright, so we have almost 3,000 gold. We're gonna need a little over 7,000 to get what I want. Uh, let's see, then we're gonna sell this other steel sword here. And, uh, there we go. Uh, and I guess, let's see... Um, I could sell the Struck Sword, but I don't quite want to right now. Um, uh, let me see. Anything else that we could sell that will, you know, um, oh, oh, do 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 I think we'll just go ahead and sell the Iron Axe. Um, it doesn't sell as much, you know, it's not as mm, high price as that, but as a Struck Sword. Anyway. Uh, ooh, uh, let me show you what else they have here. They do have a pretty nice weapon for Gabo. They have the Ice Claw. But we're not gonna get that for him because, you know, the Fire Claw is pretty good right now and it's uh, kind of expensive. And I think we're gonna get something better coming up relatively soon. So, anyway, we have some more stuff over here. Nothing all that great uh, for Aris and uh, Melvin. So, yeah, just, you know, if you want the Ice Claw, hey, go for it. But me, I'm gonna stick with the Fire Claw for now. So, anyway, uh, let's see. If you come on down here... Uh, let's see, look in the well, and I think we're going to, let's see, uh, no, it's not yet, okay. Yeah, that, at some point, there's gonna be a tiny metal down this well, so, uh, yeah. Oof, that should do it. Oh, forgive me, I didn't see you there. You appear to be travelers, you must be exhausted from your journey. I run the inn, maybe you should stop by and rest there for a while. We are always eager to accommodate weary travelers. Okay, well, pretty friendly. Hello, um, come on in here, and, oh, okay. Uh, let's see, let's uh, open that one. There's nothing useful! Oh, okay. Fine. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's, uh, make our way back around. I don't think there's anything particularly useful in here, but I just want to check and make sure that's one thing. No, okay. If you want to make a record of your travels, Rabina's Temple is at the summit of the Northern Tower. It's not a difficult climb. Just go straight in the direction of the Elder's Home. You can't miss it. Okay. I guess we'll maybe check that out later. So, anyway, let's, uh, explore a little more Probina and, uh, see what's going on over here. There is a nice little story to this place, so... Uh, alright. I'm able to work the fields like this every day thanks to the priest. The priest, huh? Okay. Actually, it's probably more accurate to say I owe my thanks to the goddess. I'm most grateful. Oh, okay. Alright, what about you? This village is unbelievably peaceful given that other countries are living under the threat of monsters. After all, the monsters can't get anywhere near this town. Okay, good. Alright, so let's, uh, look in here. And, uh, anything good? We have nothing. Uh, and I... Oh, I thought I saw, like, a cat in here. Like, oh, okay. What if the elder, the priest, left town to pursue an inquiry? Uh, he was decidedly vague about any specific details and has yet to return. Sometimes I wonder if the people of Probina have sacrificed their freedom for, uh, complacency. Our borders are restrictively enforced, and we have entrusted our future to officials who work behind the veil <gasps> of secrecy. Okay. Oh, great, that sounded awfully tedious. <laughs> it's awfully tense outside. Never felt so compelled to perfect the town's borders before. Oh, okay, well, good for you. I mean, best that you make sure the town's safe and stuff. To defend the women and children. Alright, so, my, how unusual. Travelers from abroad, welcome to Probina. Okay, thank you. You're, like, the nicest person uh, to, you know, do stuff for us. Yeah. Alright, so here... Uh, yeah, we got a tiny metal in here. Awesome. Um... After the end of this thing, we're still not going to have enough for what I really want. So we're not going to go to mini, or, you know, to the King Mini Metal, um, in a, you know, not for a while anyway, so. Yeah, we'll get our reward that we really want soon enough. So, alright. Aw, the kitty. Wow, you've got a face as pretty as mine. Meow. Yeah. I just think he's a little cuter than you, but okay. Alright, so the Elder assembled the town's advisors for an important meeting this morning. Husband is naive, naive about... Uh, human nature and content that they only seek what they will benefit the town, but I don't trust them. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I guess there's, like, some tension with this village and the people and, like, stuff. I don't know. Several days ago, an envoy from Ragaraz came to this, came to see, uh, Ordo. Okay. Town Elder. He delivered a message from the king, but Elder Ordo still refuses to tell us what the message was about. Ooh, so we got politics going on, huh? Alright, well, let's, uh, get rid of the flower. Please don't leave. Let's see, anything here? Yay! Alright, we get six gold. So worth it. Yo. Monsters ransacked our town, too, until the priests arrive. He brought, uh, with him a goddess statue, a beautifully crafted sculpture cast in gold. The monsters haven't been able to get anywhere near the town since the statue was placed in a temple. It's been such a blessing. I'm no longer constantly cleaning up cow full Okay. My books never get messed up anymore. Oh, okay. Cow-oful? What is that? It's not poo. I don't think it's cow shit, but whatever. 
Alright, anyway, um, let's see. I don't think there's anything too important up here. There's an old man. There are many who would steal the goddess statue on display at the temple. Okay. It has undeniable power. The real enemies of the town are not monsters, but other humans. It's deplorable. Oh, okay. Well, good show, good sir. And in here, we get some leather armor. Yay! Alright, so what about over here? Let me see. Uh, nothing I don't think I really need to worry about. Now, anyway, uh, we want to get some new armor for just Aris, actually. We do have some pretty good things here. We have silver, which is meh. It's okay. Wizard, which is meh. Um, we are gonna, however, look into that, maybe? That's pretty good. So heavy armor, not bad. Look, everyone can wear it and stuff. Uh, we have a platinum shield, which is okay. But I want to get the dragon shield for Aris. It's pretty expensive, but it cuts down on magic and, like, uh, breath attacks, pretty much. Ice and fire. So, yeah. We're gonna give that to Aris, because he needs it. And he's sadly the only one who can really use it, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have him equip that, and, uh, there we go. And his style goes up, too, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, you know, have platinum shields if you want to buy it. Go for it now. I don't have enough money for it. I could maybe make some money, but anyway. And, uh, there is heavy armor. If you feel like you want to buy it now, you can, but I think there's gonna be some better armor later. So, uh, yeah, definitely hold out on that, so. Alright, so we just want to get the dragon shield for ours, and we're pretty much set now. Alright, so let's see. Anything else, guys? The town has been attacked by monsters thanks to the goddess statue that rests in the temple. Monsters lose their powers and even die when they get too close to it. Oh, okay. She may be a goddess to us, but she's something entirely different to them. <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, that's good to know that, you know, that happens. Uh, let's see. This is the Elder Ordo's house. Did you come here to greet the Elder? You're well-mannered travelers. Unfortunately, I saw Ordo leaving for somewhere a while ago. Oh, okay. Alright, well, in here, uh, let's see. I don't really care about what the cows have to say. Um, ooh, and here we have some 37 gold, not bad. Uh, I want to check out the other barrels as well. So, let's see, anything in here or in there? Nope. You. Uh, the town elite were talking a little while ago. Ordo, the elder, and uh, Razuel, his son, were arguing violently. It had something to do with a uh, deadline and an attack. It's almost as if the prospect of war was being discussed. Forgive me if I seem uneasy. Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense that you would be uneasy. Hey. Ordo and Razu, uh, Razuel see, uh, just went to the temple to see uh, the priest. The temple at the top of the mountain. You can get there through the cave to the north of here. Oh, okay. Uh, nay, let me in. There we go. Let me ransack your place, goddammit. Alright, so anyway, nothing in there. Uh, there are no... Oh, okay. Alright, well, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and make our way up to the temple and see what's going on with, you know, Razu, Razuel and, um, uh, this priest that people are talking about and... Uh, or do, I guess. Now, um, this is... I don't know why they do this, but there's the same point at the top of the place, and this place is filled with monsters. So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of... weird uh, that they do that. But anyway, we have new enemies here. So we have a stalker, evil book. Um, I mean, I guess the evil books we've dealt with before, but stalkers are kind of new. So, anyway, these guys all are weak to... Well, they're not weak, but... You know, they have low HP, so let's use vacuum. Yeah, those guys, I mean, the books are weak to vacuum, but these guys, oh, they can take a couple of hits. Or one. Yeah, one, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so be wary of those. Uh, nothing really too special about this place, though. But, yeah, the fact that they stick monsters right, you know, up to, like, a save point, it kind of sucks. But we have Floor J uh, class, which is, yeah, it's okay, I guess. I'm not going to really get into that stuff. Again, there's only one particular class that I think that, you know, exists. So, yeah, we're not really going to get into that one, but now we just went in there for that pretty much, and now we have another part of the cave we can explore, though. We need to go up this way, and uh, let's uh, make our way up, you know, to that, you know, place. Again, it's just, you know, kind of sucks that they put monsters up towards the save point, and if you're doing, like, a low-level thing, oh, you're like, I need to get to that save point, and then, you know, you die for some reason. Uh, down here is nothing. Um, this can be kind of mazy at some points. But if you take the route that I'm going, you should be okay. Although, if I'm wrong, then that's pretty bad. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so yeah, nothing over there. But over here is the staircase that leads on here. And this can be a little mazy over here, so be careful. But first, we're going to go over here, because over here is a treasure. And it's a treasure. Yeah, alright. We get 530 gold. Not bad, not bad. We have, like, I think 1,000 gold right now, so... But I'm feeling confident that we're not going to, like, die here, so yeah, everything should be fine. Now, let's see, next, we want to make our way down, I believe it's this way? 
Now that way leads, our, or this way up here leads to where we need to go next, but over here, uh, there should be a treasure, I think. Ooh, we get a level up here, awesome. So uh, let's see, I think, uh, yeah, Gabo level 27, nice, all right. Uh, these guys are getting some good skills as well, too, and I think at one point someone will be getting a nice little bonus, but anyway, let's uh, continue on up here, and if I'm right, I'm right, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Oh, there it is down over there, great, okay. Yeah, these dead ends, oh. And I was right, uh, Melvin for a Dragoon, he learned uh, Vacuum Slash, so. Uh, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's getting a level, or like a skill soonish. Uh, anyway, I just went down here to reset the monster encounter rate because we fought everything that I really care about in here. So, uh, let's see. I want to go... There it is over there. And then we'll make our way out of here into the next place. Yeah, it's a cannon box, of course. It's weird, but they can... Ooh, we actually have a new enemy here. <laughs> yeah, they have some new enemies that I forgot about here. I was gonna say, those guys, they can... Um, they can drop strength seeds sometimes, so anyway. Not these guys, though. These guys are, uh, what are these called? Shade Knights, okay. Uh, they are really good with avoiding physical attacks, but Vacuum, uh, just watch what it does, and, I mean, there you go. They're dead. They're gone. Yeah, so. These guys, they do, are, they are pretty fast, though. Ooh, nice, all right. Um, I think, uh, Maribel learned that, too. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Um, so those guys are pretty fast. You need to be careful, and they can hit really hard, too, so... Uh, anyway, let's see. We want to go down over here next, and over here is staircase that leads up to there. Awesome. All right, now it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the path this way, and uh, head on up here, and uh, let's make our way out of the cave finally. Yay! And we get happy music. Awesome. All right, so um, let's see. Hello. Ah, the fateful sound of blowing leaves. One gust and all my work is carried away by the breeze. I come from town every day to tend the landscaping around the temple do anything to help the priest. He's a man among men. Nobody knows where he came from, but we have all accepted him with open arms. It's a long story, but you look like the kind of adventurers who would talk to every person they meet. Would like to hear it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, it happened three years ago. A man mysteriously washed up on the eastern shore of town. I imagine that was the priest. Shut up. Hey, would you just keep quiet and listen to the story? It gets better, I promise. All right, now where was I? Ah, yes. He must have endured a harrowing ordeal. His robes were torn and bloody, and he couldn't remember anything except that he was a priest. Through it all, his battered hand remained tightly clenched around a mysterious golden object. Perhaps it was a goddess or the goddess statue. No, stop it! Who's telling this story anyway? Maribel, you ah, I'm gonna kill you. One day, one day. Young lady, if you always interrupt and never listen, how can you be so certain? In any case, the priest means a lot to our town. We can't live without him. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, this is the uh, the temple, so there's a interesting-looking door there. We can't go down there yet, so I didn't bother trying. And uh, up there, uh, I guess I see a priest. That must be the priest. Yeah. Now, uh, if you come over here, yeah, we can get a repellent, which is awesome. Uh, in here, we can get nothing. And in here, we can get... Oh, there's a treasure over there that we can try to get. In fact, load theological books. Uh, what's this thing over here? A diary? Um... A journey to find yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, this is bed. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rest up here. It's a free end, so hey, may as well do it. Um, and we, you know, we haven't, you know, rested since, like, we fought Gracko, so we needed that. Definitely. So don't mind us just borrowing this bed. Alright, so anyway, uh, can we get in here? Hello. Alright. So it seems to be priest treasure chest. It's like, aw, see if he won't do it. Okay. Well, you can talk to this pre, uh, nun over here, and she will, you know, she can record your progress. Uh, let's see, so... What movie? Oh, it's... Oh, no, 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 I don't want to save yet. So say no. Um, did you adventure? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so I guess it's this one over here. Last priest of Provena passed away. We couldn't find a replacement for a long time. And suddenly a new priest arrived. Truly a divine occurrence. Uh, the town rallied together to help rebuild the aging temple for the new priest's uh, sake. We townspeople have the priest to thank for guiding us towards faith. Okay, well, it's nice of him. Alright, I guess he seems like a pretty good guy. So, anyway, uh, let's uh, come up here and see what's going on. Ooh, is that the goddess statue up there? Pretty. Let me go see if I can take it. Oh, no? Okay. Don't mind us. We're just, you know, here for church. All right, so, temerity will only lead to unnecessary death and destruction. I ask that you give me another chance to try persuading the great king of Ragaraz. Perhaps I can still reason with him. 
It's no use, Father. The king will never listen to you. Avregar is a dangerous kingdom, intent on remaking the world in its image. Our town was once regarded as an insignificant to their uh, grander plans. But now it seems we have something that is worth their attention. If the goddess statue did not exist, we would not be faced with impending war. Okay. Hello. Ordo, a military force from Gregoras is uh, gathered around the bridge at the end of t at the edge of town. Um, what? And then it has begun. Damn it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Razuul, what are you doing with the goddess statue? Um, uh-oh. Uh, it's time I put an end to Gregoras' imperialist ways. Come with me. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. What is he doing? Um, hello? Damn it, Razuul. One day he'll pay for his imprudence. I just pray that Probina doesn't pay the price along with him. Uh, let's see. What about you? It's shame me to think that my presence here has brought this town to the brink of war. I don't even know why I had that statue in the first place. The goddess statue has always been heralded as a harbinger of peace. I never imagined it would serve as a catalyst for war. Poor guy. Don't be ashamed. It isn't your fault. The goddess statue has kept the village safe until now, right? Yeah. Thanks, Marybelle. Thank you for your kind words, young lady. I'm afraid, however, that my coming here uh, for now caused more harm than the good it has accomplished. You mustn't talk like that. If you lose faith in your own integrity, then how can you weather life's change or challenges to come? Now, Razuel is an impetuous man. He has long fought uh, to effect revolutionary change within Probina, but rarely does he think things through. There's no telling what he might do. Please, kind traveler, save Razuel from himself. I fear the army of Raghuraz will not be merciful. All right, well, we're gonna go, you know, I'm gonna meet you guys at the, um, uh, at the bridge in the next episode, and we'll see what's going on over there. Maybe try to stop Razor from doing something stupid. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.